What's up, YouTube? Hey, this is Christian Brindle, Medicare Health Fund expert, specialist, founder of Christian Brindle Insurance Services, host of the ever-popular The Everything Medicare podcast, and author of three insurance-based books, two specifically about Medicare. Today, I wanted to talk with you, um, kind of bring you uh, a topic that was very interesting to me that I kind of saw pop up on my Google alerts. Um, and that was that uh, the ever-popular insurance company Mutual of Omaha is considering changing their logo. Now, this is going to kind of get a little bit skewed for some people in terms of the no political talks. Um, and it's just a beautiful day here in Sandy, here in our offices. And um, I just felt like taking a little bit of a walk and I just thought I'd, you know, while I was at it, just kind of share my thoughts on this. Um, so for anybody that doesn't know, Mutual of Omaha, just like the Ros the Washington Redskins football team, has a um, Native American tribal, you know, logo. It's very, the two logos are very, very similar, actually. Um, now, Mutual of Omaha, for those of you who don't know, and I'm, I don't think if you've been watching this video that you wouldn't know, I think that you probably would, but... Mutual of Omaha has been an insurance company since 19, probably, I don't know the exact year off the top of my head. I think it's was in the 1890s, if not early 1900s, that they were established. I don't know the exact date off the top of my head. However, um, what I think is incredibly interesting about the whole situation is, you know, they started off, they were one of the few insurance companies that started offering insurance Medicare supplement plans right when Medicare started in the 1960s. There's only a couple of companies that did that um, and they were one of them. So they've been doing Medicare supplement plans ever since the beginning. Um, and today they're probably, you know, I don't know the ex exactly where they stand. It kind of changes from time to time, but I do believe they're definitely in the top three in terms of um, members or Medicare supplement policies in the United States. So they're, they're, they're not just prominent, they're, they're humongously um, impactful in the Medicare community. Now, I know this whole you know, conversation has been going on in the NFL with the Washington Redskins for quite some time, you know, probably for a handful of, you know, probably for quite some, probably for about 10 years. I've been hearing talks about the Washington Redskins logo for about 10 years now. And, I, and they actually just announced recently um, depending on when you're watching this video, that they're going to be changing their logo because it was viewed as racially insensitive to um, Native Americans, which I, I, I can, I can see that. I mean, I can see, I can see both sides of it, I suppose, because, you know, I can see it from the, from, a, from a person that might be a Native American's point of view. And I can also see it from the, 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 the company or the team or whoever it might be's point of view in terms of, you know, hey, we've had this logo for so long. It's so identifiable with our organization. But I, I get it. I see both sides of it. Um, now, looks like Mutual of Omaha, you know, is kind of following in the footsteps of the Washington Redskins now and changing their logo. I have not heard any, you know, outrage or uproar about their logo for Mutual of Omaha. Like, I have the Washington Redskins. Now, they're an insurance company. They're not probably in the public light as much. You know, people probably, they're not as, you know, sexy or fun as a sports team might be. Um, but it's its one of those things, I think, that, you know, my first reaction upon hearing the news was I was a little, I was a little bit bummed. I was like, oh, because, not because I have a problem with, you know, making sure to appease the sensitivity of, different races, races and things like that. I have absolutely zero problem with that. But the reason why I had a problem with it is because Mutual of Omaha, for me personally as an agent, as a broker, as an agent that works with a myriad of different insurance companies, Mutual of Omaha has always been one of my favorites and it's just such an iconic logo. It really is. I mean, for any of you, you know, that it might be on Medicare that's watching this, you probably remember, you know, Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. You know, that, that, that TV show in the 1960s, 1970s, Mutual of Omaha's Wild King. Um, 
you know, I mean, it's just an, a very, very iconic logo with a lot of history behind it. And so my first reaction was just feeling a little bit of regret in terms of that side of things. But um, upon letting it kind of set a little bit, I, I there's no choice. I mean, you have to do it. In 2020, I kind of feel like you have to do that. You have to make that change if you're if you're if you're, you're a company of that size and you have a logo like that. Um, but I'd love to hear what what all of you have to to say about it and kind of what your your thoughts and opinions are on the matter. I mean, I think it's it's I think it's definitely an argument that has two very very prominent sides. But at the end of the day, I mean, I think it is only a matter of time. So we'll be interesting to kind of see what the new logo looks like. Um, a lot of times, my fr I don't know about you, but my first reaction is anytime I see a company or a sports team or anything like that go from one logo to another, when you're so accustomed to the, the old logo, usually no matter what the new logo looks like, it just looks ugly and it just looks wrong and it's just upsetting. And I kind of hope that's not the case for, for Mutual of Omaha's new logo, whenever whatever it ends up being, if they do end up deciding to change the logo, which it looks like. That's probably what's going to happen from what I've heard. Um, anyway, um, everybody, I'd love to hear your thoughts about this. Do you think this is, um, do you think this is something that should be happening? Do you think it should be happening? If you don't, let me know why. If you do, let me know why down in the comment section. I'd love to have kind of an open dialogue about this. Um, and until next time, make sure to Subscribe to our channel for all things insurance and Medicare related news, content, information, education, everything you want to know about. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for being here with me today. Have a great day.